County Library video channel. We post new videos every week, so bookmark, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Sonoma County Library. Welcome to our Crafting at Home series. Today we have a very fun craft for you. Now be sure to check out our library website, sonomalibrary.org, for more information and resources. Now let's get started with our craft. Okay everyone, so here is my workstation. What you're going to need today is kind of a variety of things depending on what you have. Uh, tape or glue, markers, colorful pieces of paper, and a box. Now the box size will depend on who you're making this project for. If you have a really, really giant box, you can make it for the kids to go into and create a little house for them. If you have a smaller one, you can make a cat box or a dog box, um, or you can make one for a doll or a stuffed animal. So I have a fairly large box because I'm going to make mine for my kitten. So what we're making today is we're making fun little box homes or box cars, whichever one you feel. Um, so I have all my items. Oh, you also need some scissors. Now parents, if you really wanna get fancy with this, you could get like a box cutter and actually cut out windows from the box. Um, I'm just gonna stick to making paper windows instead for this video. But feel free to do what you'd like. So, get your box ready. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the sides of the flaps of my box, tape them together so that it's a taller box. I'm just kinda, if you look here, I'm just kind of taping it like this so that it holds and doesn't fall in. You can tape on the inside too. I think over here on this side, I'm gonna make a little door. If you're making this a car, you can add little paper plates or cupcake liners to make the wheels on each side. Let's see, so I have my little door. Let's see, I think I'll make a little window on this side with marker. And then on the other side, I'm gonna make a window out of a piece of paper. Those aren't very straight lines, but that's okay. I'll take my little window over here. And I'll make a second window. I'll glue this one to see if it works better than tape. Which one sticks more? There's my second window. Hmm, what should we add to this side? Do we need another door? There's a door. Let's add some flowers all around the house. How about some yellow flowers? There we go. Need the little doorknob. See, how mm. about some yellow flowers? Is this the second floor? Flowers. Maybe I should put windows on the first floor so you can see out there. Let's add some more. How about we change the shape of the windows for the bottom floor? Let's make them kind of a rectangle with a half circle on top. Like that. Let's do another blue one while we're at it. All right, two different shaped windows. Uh, 
Perfect. Perfect. That looks great. Hmm. I think what I'm going to write up here is going to say, Welcome home. Perfect. A nice little greeting message. Now, what should we do on the sides here? Hmm. You know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that. a two in one box. I do think another I'm going to have blue one the shorter sides be a house, and then the longer sides be a car. So it could be a car and a house at the same time. Maybe a house on wheels. Ooh, then Kitten can travel around the house in her super cool house. So let's make some car pieces. So using some paper, I'm gonna make some wheels. See if I can make a circle. That was actually not a bad circle. I'm gonna use it to trace the other one. We could sing, the wheels on the house go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the house go round and round, all through the town. What else is going to happen with our house? Where should it go? Hmm. To the library. That would be a cool place to travel to in your house car. Hmm. -hmm. What do we need on our car? What do we think? Hmm. A window? It's true, you do need to see through a window to drive anywhere. Let's see. How about one big window? And then a big window in Perfect. Place. All right, I'm gonna put tape on my, that looks good. I'll draw a person in my window. I think I need a steering wheel. Oh, I need to remember to draw the horn in the middle. There you go. I think what I'll write in big words up here. Beep. Beep. Or honk honk, whatever you think your car will sound like. They could even sound like a duck. Have you ever heard of a car that sounds like a duck? It is possible. All right, I've got my wheels. Uh-oh, I think my wheels need to connect. There we go. Now they're connected to the car. Connect. Connect. There we go. Now it's working. What else do we need? Hmm. What kind of things? What kind of color is your car? Are you going to color it? Let's see. I'm going to color it yellow down here. Perfect. I have a little yellow house car. And then maybe, let's see. That looks pretty good so far. There's my car. There's my house. Let's do wheels on the other side. Let's do a different color wheel. Let's do purple wheels on this side. Good. I'll draw a person in my window. Let's see. And windows. Oh, 
Well, you know what we didn't make? A door to the car. Maybe that will be our door. How about that? Let's draw the handle. There, that's how you get into your car. Should we add a person on this side too? This person will not be driving since the other side is driving, but they can just be there. Let's give them a smiley face. Smile. Perfect. There we go, connected. Okay, so a car, a house, whoop, a car, and a house. <gasps> Perfect. Now I have a car, a traveling house. We can go anywhere. Let's see if Kitten will like her new house. I'm going to color it yellow down here. 